Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is real true street crime. Let me pull a little close so you can hear me, you understand? We down here under the bridge, the ambassador, you understand? Finna get out and tell you the day story under the ambassador bridge here in Motown, you understand? Now let me take you to it. Today's story, we're gonna take you to Demetrius, Ed Hansen, and MGM Grand Casino. At one time, those three brothers control most of the drug trade in the city of Detroit. Now let me go into this so you understand this a little better. Demetrius knew exactly what kind of money Big Ed was getting because he hadn't been serving him. Understand this. For somebody to give you a half a million dollars worth of credit, you have to work your way up to that. He'll serve you, serve you, serve you, serve you. Then you run off with one. So he already knew the kind of money Big Ed was getting. And as I told you, himself, Big Ed, and MGM Grand Casino was doing the damn thing all on the same playing field. But let me take you into the mind of Demetrius. This is what Demetrius thought, and let me take you right into his mind. Straight out of Demetrius. Understand this. He was beefing with MGM Grand Casino, and he was beefing with Big Ed. He felt in his mind, once I kill Big Ed, I got that business, and he lucked up just by chance MGM Grand went to jail. MGM Grand Casino went to jail. So he wound up swallowing that business because by default, because MGM Grand Casino had went to jail. Now he feel if he killed Big Ed, he got it all again. So you understand, that was his thought. He never counted on the best friends coming into the picture. But at this time, they hadn't came into the picture because they was working, doing hits for him. Understand this. At the time I'm talking about, the best friends was working for Demetrius, doing hits. In fact, trying to kill MGM Grand and Ed Hansen. Understand this when I tell you that. So in Demetrius' mind and funny thing about it when Steve Fishman say he was a general he really was because he was pulling a general move and got lucky on part of the move because he felt I'm going to kill MGM Grand and Big Ed Hansen and I'm going to have it all anyways that's how Demetrius felt so he was that cocky and feeling he's going to take out MGM Grand and Big Ed Hansen and he got it all anyway so after he went as I tell y'all, MGM Grand Casino went to jail. He started serving a lot of the people that MGM Grand had been serving because they didn't have nowhere else to get it from. So he swallowed up a lot of his business. My brother K. Hill used to work for MGM Grand Casino, my man Kevin. So after MGM Grand Casino went to jail, Kevin went to Coppin through Demetrius, through me, through Demetrius, but ultimately, it's going to Demetrius, so now he's copping from Demetrius, and they was raising hella fine hell, and they had been down with MGM Grand Casino, so that's what I'm talking about, when they go, he's going to automatically get their business, because it ain't nobody else, so once MGM Grand went to jail, if he going to knock off Ed Hansen, he got it all, then the best friends entered into the picture. Now, you got to try to knock them off because they done took the place of MGM Grand Casino and replaced him with four brown boys, you understand? This is how he was beefing and how I didn't think about it the whole time in doing what he's doing, you understand? He's playing real general moves. He's planning the death of three or four niggas. Now remember, he still got world trying to knock his ass off MGM Grand trying to knock him off, Big Ed Hansen trying to knock him off, his girlfriend trying to knock him off by putting him in jail for 20 years or better. So he's dancing with all of this at the same time and feeling 
he can handle it all. You understand? So this was in the mind of Demetrius. Why you seen him so cocky, feeling, fuck it, I can take Big Ed and MGM Grand Casino, and I got all this shit back anyway. Because I didn't had it most of the time anyway. Because Big Ed been copying for me, so I've been getting all that money till he ran off. Understand that he had been in the catbird's position all that time and was setting himself up to be right back in the catbird's position by knocking off Ed Hansen, knocking off MGM Grand Casino, and then turn out MGM Grand Casino and went to jail and the best friends replaced him. And goddamn, he started knocking the best friends off, two of them. So you understand it was a battle for the cocaine business and understand D knew that well and was whacking niggas who had any interest in it and one of the biggest ones went to jail was MGM Grand Casino so I just had to kick it with you all and come out here for a little while and tell you all check out Brittany Simmons a wonderful young attorney over there scorching them Google it Brittany Simmons if you need some help she'll help you out check her out she'll help you out Brittany Simmons Law. Check her out and she will definitely help you out. Go on down there and check out Loud Delivery. Clarence and Matt Calf. Matt Calf and Clarence. Loud Delivery. Them boys is awful loud. If you need some edibles, 420 style more food, or edibles, or just that loud, check out Matt Calf and Clarence. Loud Delivery, you understand? And after you check out Loud Delivery and catch your appetite, go on over there and check Jelani's Tasty Table out. A wonderful young chef straight out of Baker's College. Baker's finest. Can't be beat. Jelani's Tasty Table, you understand? Check him out. And as I say to you always, motivate, don't hate, you understand? Subscribe, share, and like. Thank you to all of you. Subscribe, share, and like I am. Eddie Baby on Instagram. And as I say, check out Jelani's Taste and Table. Move on over there to Motown Mafia Podcast. Courtney Brown Jr. over there on Spotify. Scorching them, you understand? Motown Mafia Podcast on Spotify. Courtney Brown Jr. But as I say to you all, and I always say it to you, top tier cuts. 313 Super Ken, baby. Top tier cuts 313 Super Ken. He will definitely check him out. He'll lay you out. Check out Super Ken, top tier cut. 313, check him out. He'll definitely lay you out. And I don't want to hold you long. So let me go and wind it up here. You understand? Thank you to everybody out there who take any time to listen or view my stories. I have to say thank you. Because without you all, there is no me, you understand? And while I'm winding up, go on over there on Spotify and check out Crime Town Kingpin's Kids, where you can hear Ryan Gill Valley and we working hard to get him on Motown Mafia 2, baby. We working to get him. Joe Pep, working hard to get him on Motown Mafia 2 and bring it all together for you, you understand? And in the end of the words of Eddie Jackson Sr., the fat man, the magic fat man, Big Bear Cola, Mr. President, I'm going to be seeing a lot of you all.